right let us come back and do this question which is based on your elements compounds mixtures as well as again classification of mixtures so basically whenever you learn a topic unless until you apply the concept in the question it will the topic will not be clear to you all so remember whichever topic is thought to you try to do more number of questions on that so then only you'll be knowing okay okay this is how we have studied this is how i need to apply in the exam nobody will ask you what is a mixture what is in compound what is heterogeneous mixture they will ask you to apply the concept which you have studied right so here what do they give us classify the following into elements mixtures compounds and indicate if the mixture is homogeneous or heterogeneous so we very well know we have divided mixtures into homo and hetero we have divided again your uh, pure substances into elements and compounds right so now what should i do i need to find out whether the given examples are they elements are they mixtures or compounds right three things i need to just see these three fine so what are elements the purest form of the particular substance mixtures they may be homo they may be uh, homogeneous it may or may be homogeneous it may be same it may be different also like hetero compounds as i said two elements combined together from compounds let's see when i have to see smoke smoke basically is a combination of different different gases isn't it so what will it be it will <laughs> compulsory be a mixture m i x okay i'll write mixture m stands for mixture right so when i have to speak about brass brass is a combination of copper and zinc right so uh, what what should i uh, write again brass is again a um, combination of copper and zinc means it is again a mixture isn't it yes it's a combination of copper and zinc so again this is a mixture now when i have to see dry ice dry ice very well know so it is basically a compound isn't it so it is a compound any cl again it's a combination of two pure elements it is a compound crystal water h2o it is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen it is a compound fine mercury mercury is a purest form it is an elemental form that is hg so purest form is nothing but element capital e sucrose sucrose is a combination of glucose and fructose so what is it coming in the category it's coming under category compound because it is a combination of two elements aerated drinks your soft drinks again they have uh, compressed carbon dioxide present in that so it is a mixture also mixture fine now they have asked so i've divided according to them elements i've divided i've divided into mixtures i've divided into compounds now they said classify or indicate the mixtures into homo and hetero so homo means having the same phase throughout same composition throughout hetero means different compositions so when i have to speak here i have a mixture here i have a mixture here i have a mixture now see this particular thing as i said smoke it, it is a combination of different gases so is the composition same all over no isn't it so this is a heterogeneous mixture so brass brass has the same composition you have the same ratio of copper and zinc so brass is a homogeneous mixture next aerated drinks again the same composition unless until you mix up in the same composition the same even composition you will not get that intensity or you will not get the tanginess in that particular soft drink so aerated drinks are again homogeneous so this is how you are going to classify so simple concept remember what is an element remember what is a mixture remember what is a compound and divide them accordingly right now let us come back and do the next type of question what is this here they've given us gunpowder is a mixture of sulfur charcoal and potassium nitrate how would you separate it into its constituents so basically till now i have not studied anything i have only studied about elements mixtures or uh, element like pure substances mixtures elements compounds heterogeneous homogeneous but now basically let us go into a, a next level of understanding so whenever some certain uh, mixture is given to you you should know about the solubility of them so if you know the solubility i can easily say okay i am this is soluble in this this is soluble in that i can separate out so the given us what gunpowder is a mixture of sulfur charcoal and potassium nitrate now, but basically in we have both the types of solvents isn't it polar solvents and non polar solvents so let me divide so first one is your polar solvent next one is your non polar solvent so what is a polar solvent it's not a universal uh, solvent that is nothing but water non polar solvent is carbon disulfide which is a linear molecule fine so next when i have to start sulfur sulfur is soluble in water or uh, carbon disulfide sulfur is always soluble in 
non polar solvent so ruled out i have separated next comes charcoal charcoal is neither soluble in water nor soluble in uh, uh, non polar solvent both so what are you going to do? you will get charcoal separately i why because it is neither soluble in water polar solvent it is neither soluble in non polar solvent the leftover is kno3 kno3 a because it is an ionic compound it dissolves in kno3 dissolves in a polar solvent now all three are separated isn't it so this is how you are going to reason a question fine let us see this question here what do they give me this is an ncrt exemplar question it is there in the exemplar book right which of the following statements about a compound is incorrect so i should see which is the incorrect statement for a compound so we already studied the uh, differences between compounds and mixtures i already know the properties of compounds let's see a molecule of compound has atoms of different element fine compound has atoms of different elements a correct statement nothing incorrect in that so ruled out a compound cannot be separated into its constituent elements by physical methods of separation okay that is also true we have already given the differences i can't separate them further by physical methods next i said a compound retains physical properties of its constituent elements wrong isn't it so it will not retain it may change suppose if i take iron sulfide if i heat it it will change isn't it the complete structure of iron and sulfur will change and you can't get revert back the condition so this is a <coughs> incorrect statement of this last one the ratio of atoms of different elements in a compound is fixed isn't it compound water molecule remember this water molecule if you remember this you can relate water molecule the ratio is 2 is to 1 it is fixed so the incorrect statement is it will retain this said it will not retain its property once you start heating it for example one of the physical method you heat it so this is how you are going to reason the question let's come back and see one more question let us see this question what does this question say which of the following is a homogeneous mixture so what actually is a homogeneous mixture as i said which has the same composition throughout brass same composition sand same composition isn't it sea water same composition so right so the same composition fine so which of the following homogeneous mixture mixture of salt and water no it is it is clearly showing that it's not homogeneous it has two different combinations next sugar solution sugar solution has the same composition throughout so it is this is a homogeneous mixture next mixture of sugar salt sand no it is heterogeneous isn't it so iodized table, table salt no that is also heterogeneous in nature so the homogeneous mix mixture is sugar solution this is how you need to apply the concepts